Hey friends, it's Missy again. Thanks so much for stopping in today. I have a new layout and video for Hip Kit Club and I'm using the 2020 April kits for this. And for today's layout, I'm going to start with my picture, which I haven't done in quite a while. I absolutely love this picture, even though there's a big foot in the way. Um, I love the look on her face. She's just in heaven swinging on this particular day. So I printed it out in color and I'm going to let the yellow sort of start my color thoughts. Uh, I'm going to use white as my background today and I'm coating it with some clear gesso because I am going to do some mixed media on the background. And I was out of focus here for just a second, but it's going to fix right back here. I guess I was moving too fast <laughs> for the focus. So I got the, the gesso down and I'm going to incorporate this beautiful cut file of this hot air balloon that Annette, one of our design team members, designed for this month. And I thought since she was swinging and she likes to go high, there are a lot of hot air balloons in the Crate Paper Sweet Story collection. And so I thought I would focus on those elements. We've got some in the stickers, we've got some in the chipboard, and there's a pattern paper that is full of those hot air balloons. So I thought I would incorporate those as my main design element. All right, so I'm pulling out all three colors of the Art Philosophy watercolors that we get in the color kit this month and a couple of Lindy's sprays from past kits, and I'm just going to use the packaging technique. I thought I would start with yellow since I've got yellow in the picture, and I just love these rich colors. Oh my gosh. I really, really love mixing these Art Philosophy watercolors with the Lindy's. You get such great uh, lights, not lights and darks, but just different shades of the colors. I mixed in the um, Yellow Rose of Texas Lindy's spray with the Honey Art Philosophy that we get this month. And I just, I don't know, the packaging technique is always so good. I love how it just sort of winds up looking like this abstract splotch for better <laughs> lack of a better word, splotch, but I love how that turns out. Here I'm going to add some blue. I feel like if we're going to have hot air balloons, I got to have some sort of blue sky going on, and this is going to be a very abstract sky, but I'm mixing two of the Lindy sprays from past kits. I'm mixing Tiffany Lou blue with blue Hawaiian blue, and it creates the most gorgeous turquoise color ever. So, so pretty. And I'm just going to play around with the background. I am going to create a little bit of green here when the blue and the yellow mix. And it winds up looking so cool once the background is dry. All I'm doing here is just taking a brush with some water and kind of blending out some of the edges uh, to kind of make it look a little more faded. Some areas on this one, I want the harsh lines of the watercolor drying. And then on some parts, I want it to be soft around the edges. So that's where the brush comes in. And I'm my thought process at this point was that I was loving how this background was turning out that I wanted to leave the white cut file completely as is and then let the background show through it. I first thought I might back it with different pattern papers but once this background was completed I loved it so much I didn't really want to cover it up. So I'm going to leave the cut file completely just plain white cardstock and then let that background show through it. And you're going to kind of just get the idea of a big hot air balloon on the background because I'm going to just glue it straight on to the background. I just love that effect. I think it looks really cool. All right, so the background is dry. I am loving this. I think it turned out really, really cool. And I love that little bit of green in the middle. Now my picture is going to go right there over the yellow section. Uh, it looks like she's looking up and across at the hot air balloon. And plus she was, you know, like I said, she was in a swing, so she was going high and I thought the hot air balloon's flying. I was trying to come up with a title, but I don't really come up with a title until the very end. So we'll worry about that later. Uh, but I did go to fussy cutting a lot of these hot air balloons out. And there's just so many different colors and patterns. They're so, so pretty. And I just went for it. I'm going to use the uh, two chipboard ones, um, the one that's on the sticker sheet, and we're kind of getting there. And then I went through the pocket life cards and totally forgot that there were these two gorgeous 
hot air balloons on there. So I knew right away I had to fussy cut those out and use them. Look at this floral one. Is that not the most gorgeous one ever? It's so colorful. I love all those colors. So I'm going to cut those out and try to rearrange all of the hot air balloons. I just want it to kind of look like they're all floating in different spots in the sky, kind of around this big one that's in the middle. And I like that they're all different sizes because it gives you immediate depth. You know, it looks like some are closer, some are further away, and that is perfect. And yeah, in my mind, she's laughing and she's just having a great old time and she's just looking up, even though I think her eyes are closed. She's just kind of looking up at all of the beautiful hot air balloons and having herself the best time swinging. So, and I think what makes this photo special is that she flung her foot up in the, the air and my camera caught her her croc she loves crocs in there and it just you know the bottom of it was yellow and her shirt is yellow and so i just love how it turned out i'm going to add a couple of layers behind my picture i'm going to add in that really pretty coral crepe paper sheet with the light pink dots as well as some white tissue paper and then add a couple of little odds and ends around there uh, i just wanted a little bit of separation since the photo has so much yellow in it and the yellow is right there on the background i wanted some separation between that because i didn't want to go you know yellow overkill there but i didn't want to put the yellow up top because i wanted blue up top to kind of give the the um hint of sky and so you know usually i try to spread the color around if there's a lot of that color in the photo i try to do a different color kind of underneath it but in this case like I usually do, I'm breaking my own rules because there are no rules, you know? You set rules for yourself and you wind up breaking them and it's okay. Um, because I do add a lot of layers and things around it. I think it, I think it works out okay and there's enough separation to where it's not too much yellow. So I'm using some of that uh, Cartabella Summer Market yellow and white gingham paper. At more yellow, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to use some of that paper. And then these are some bits that I'd fussy cut from an earlier layout that I did not get to use. Um, I cut that wreath from a Pocket Life card, and I'm going to use that cute little blue bow. It's a chipboard from the Craig Paper chipboard sheet. I'm going to use a bit of this Pocket Life card because I wanted a pop of that light sky blue color down there. And I'm just going to create this little cluster underneath, well not underneath, but on that bottom right corner of the picture there and I don't want to cover it up too much I'm going to use one of those dimensional butterfly stickers and trying to figure out what else to use this is a little sticker that says lovely day and it's also that light blue sky color so what I decided to do now is I'm going to distress the edges of all of the hot air balloons and rise them up off the page with some adhesive foam just to create some dimension. Since the cut file is completely flat, I wanted the other ones to sort of pop off the page a little bit. And it really does look like they're just floating along. And I'm, I'm usually not a themed scrapper. Like if I see a bunch of, like my, like the layout that I made for INSD with all of the fruit, um, Ordinarily, I, you know, I don't have photos that would go along with fruit. So I just kind of have to change it and use it in a different way. And so I use it as a, you know, a cute, oh, hey, sugar type of layout. So in this case, you know, I probably will never ride in a hot air balloon and really never have the right photos to go with that kind of thing. So I use them in, a, in an instance like this and it still makes sense. You know, she's swinging, we're going high, um, you know floating into the air that type of thing so you just kind of have to look at embellishments and you know icons and images and things that you might not normally use and just try to think of another way to use them or another theme to use them in if that makes sense um you know there's always a lot of animals and things and i know i talked about that in my other video you know i we have a cat but I mean we really don't have any instances for me to use a swan or a tiger or a giraffe I don't have any zoo photos so you know I have to come up with something that fits me that makes those icons make sense 
All I'm doing here is gluing everything down. I added some thread. I'm going to wind up fixing that blue tangle of thread. I mixed some light blue and some aqua together and it just looks kind of too messy the way I have it now. So I'm going to fix that. My thought was that I would have some a couple of spots with blue thread kind of blowing in the breeze since we're talking sky and flying here but it's just too messy and tangly the way I have it there so I do go back and fix that so it's less yeah so you can still see it but it's not as not as much showing all right so I'm going to add in one more hot air balloon right there and then come back in with the blue and the aqua thread again and add a little bit to the left of the photo. I, I didn't want to add anything like right under the left part of the photo because I wanted that yellow paint to show and if I tuck something right there like a floral cluster or another hot air balloon it would cover it up and I, I, I think I need the yellow that's showing now. I, I want that to keep showing. So I'm going to leave the left side alone and just, you know, I'm going to keep the cluster on the right because there's nothing really going on over there. So the cluster is good. So all I'm going to do is tuck in a little bit of thread and leave that area alone. And I'm still trying to come up with a title. I actually have to take a break. And I went to Pinterest and typed in, you know, hot air balloons, trying to get some other thoughts on, you know, flying, soaring, uh, sky's the limit. There's all kinds of things and I wanted something. I wanted to use the alphas, the two uh, alpha stickers, the, the foam thickers that we get this month and they're pretty big. So I needed a short title that would fit on the bottom of this layout and not overcrowd it. So that was my challenge in the uh, <laughs> let's figure out what our title is going to be. And I love how the background turned out and I love the colors. I love how the cut file is, you know, you can still see it. You can still tell what it is, but it's just a design uh, element here. It's not something that's taken away from the background. All right. So my title is going to be carried away because it was short and sweet and I could mix and match. And, you know, it looks like she's getting carried away laughing and the balloons are getting carried away in the sky. And I felt like it was good. And it was a title that I've never used before. So there you go. Now, the carried word is obviously very, very shiny because it's those iridescent metallic uh, thickers. So I wanted to tone that down slightly because it was so shiny and bright that I could barely even read it. So I'm just going to smudge some white gesso on top of it. And they're still shimmery and shiny. They're just more on the matte side. They're a little toned down. And I love how the title fit right there. I did overlap the C and the A on top of that hot air balloon, but I think it looks okay. Um, all I'm going to do now is add in some journaling. I drew my lines there and I'm going to use my black fine tip Sharpie to talk about what's going on. And then the last thing that I wanted to do was add a little bit of splatters. So I'm going to come back to the colors that I used to make the background and just kind of mix and match and add a little bit of blue splatters up at the top and some yellow down on the yellow section. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of these Art Philosophy watercolors. My first time using these and they're awesome. The color is just beautiful. So I hope we get more of those in future kits. So I'm almost done here. I'm just going to dab up some of the color here and then yeah, that's the final layout. I love how this turned out. I love the colors. I just love bright colors. I color. I just love it. I love the colors. Um, here come all the details. You can see how carried is still shiny. It's just not as shiny. But yeah, I love the background colors. How many times have I said that? I'll stop saying it. But um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. This was really fun to make. And so yeah, this is an idea if you don't know how to use those hot air balloons. Uh, think of the theme of getting carried away or soaring. Uh, it would be a good theme for, you know, like a graduation or something like that. So Anyway, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.